Here are steps, tips, and tricks to installing your floor at floors. We are installing the Modine LVP collection, otherwise known as luxury vinyl planks. And these planks are 100% waterproof and they come with an underlayment built in. What makes them different from other flooring is that they have these grooves and textures into the plank that mimic real wood floors. We went with the Nikon color, which is a color inspired by sandy shorelines. The first thing that you wanna do is prep the base of your floors. If your floors are lumpy and unleveled, you're not gonna be able to install any flooring. And this is exactly what we ran into. So we poured down some self-leveling cement prior to installing. We also installed a moisture shield that we picked up at Home Depot. This was a pain in the butt. And if I didn't live in Florida, I would have just said, let's forget it. It already has this underlayment and they're already 100% waterproof planks. But we went through with it. While you're at Home Depot, make sure you also pick up a floor laying kit and a rubber mallet. This is going to help you lock all the flooring into place. You will want to start out in a corner of your room and work your way from there. We laid our flooring a long ways to help lengthen the space. The floor laying kit comes with wall spacers that help give the floor a little bit of breathing room. For us, these just kept falling down, so eventually I just taped them up with painter's tape. Once you have your first piece down, you want to start connecting the short ends to create a long strip. You'll want to angle this piece at 45 degrees degrees to then notch the little grooves together. Uh, once they're in, you'll be able to like press it down and then use your tapping block to make sure that the edges are perfectly lined up. Once your first row is done, you'll now have to lock them into two different ends, the top side and the long side. You'll want to first angle that plank into that top side, the short one, groove, and then angle it into the long side groove. It will click into place and become seamless. However, it will be a little angled upward. When it's angled upward, put your hands on it and give it a good tug towards yourself. Now you're going to grab your mallet in the block and start tapping it along the sides. See here how it all of a sudden drops down, this is exactly what you want. This is it locking into place. You will need a jigsaw or some type of saw to help you cut the planks to get around the door frames and the edges of the room. My best advice for this is to measure three times and then cut, and then also have extra pieces of flooring as backup. Make sure you're really paying attention to the sides of the planks that are locking together and then cutting the piece that is on the correct side. Putting down the floor took us a day to complete, and then we came back on the second day to install the corner rounds and the molding. If you had any edges that were questionable, don't worry, the corner rounds and the molding are here to clean it all up. We installed this with liquid nails onto our brick wall and then the molding with a nail gun. After some wood filler, paint, and moving all the furniture back, the room is now finished. All in all, this project took us four days to complete, but we did have to lay down new cement. We absolutely love these floors and we're looking forward to changing out all the rooms in the house with this sandy hue.